The 70 disciples or 72 disciples were early students of Jesus mentioned in the Gospel of Luke chapter 10 verses 1 to 24. According to Luke, the only Gospel in which they appear, Jesus appointed them and sent them out in pairs on a specific mission which is detailed in the text. In Western Christianity, they are usually referred to as disciples, whereas in Eastern Christianity they are usually referred to as apostles. Using the original Greek words both titles are descriptive, as an apostle is one sent on a mission whereas a disciple is a student. But the two traditions differ on the scope of the words apostle and disciple. Text. The passage from Luke chapter 10 reads, And after these things, the Lord did appoint also other seventy, and sent him by twos before his face to every city and place whither he himself was about to come, then said he unto them, back, quote, The harvest indeed is abundant, but the workmen few, beseech ye then the Lord of the harvest, that he may put forth workmen to his harvest, back, quote, go away, lo, I send you forth as lambs in the midst of wolves, carry no bag, no scrip, nor sandals, and salute no one on the way, and into whatever house ye do enter, first say, peace to this house, and if indeed there may be there the son of peace, rest on it shall your peace, and if not so, upon you it shall turn back, back, quote, and in that house remain, eating and drinking the things they have, for worthy, is, the workman of his hire, go not from house to house, and into whatever city ye enter, and they may receive you, eat the things set before you, and heal the ailing in it, and say to them, the reign of God hath come nigh to you, back, quote, and into whatever city ye do enter, and they may not receive you, having gone forth to its broad places, say, and the dust that hath cleaved to us, from your city, we do wipe off against you, but this know ye, that the reign of God hath come nigh to you, and I say to you, that for Sodom in that day it shall be more tolerable than for that city. Back, quote, woe to thee, Chorazin, woe to thee, Bethsaida, for if in Tyre and Sidon had been done the mighty works that were done in you, long ago, sitting in sackcloth and ashes, they had reformed, but for Tyre and Sidon it shall be more tolerable in the judgment than for you. Back, quote, and thou, Cape and Orm, which unto the heaven wast exalted, unto Hades thou shalt be brought down. Back, quote, he who is hearing you, doth hear me, and he who is putting you away, doth put me away, and he who is putting me away, doth put away him and who sent me, and the seventy turned back with joy, saying, back, quote, sir, and the demons are being subjected to us in thy name, and he said to them, back, quote, I was beholding the adversary. As lightning from the heaven having fallen, lo, I give to you the authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions, and on all the power of the enemy, and nothing by any means shall hurt you, but in this rejoice not, that the spirits are subjected to you, but rejoice rather that your names were written in the heavens. Analysis this is the only mention of the group in the Bible. The number is 70 in manuscripts in the Alexandrian and Caesarean text traditions but 72 in most other Alexandrian and Western texts. It may derive from the 70 nations of Genesis chapter 10 or the many other occurrences of the number 70 in the Bible, or the 72 translators of the Septuagint from the letter of Aristeus. In translating the Vulgate, Jerome selected the reading of 72. The Gospel of Luke is not alone among the synoptic Gospels in containing multiple episodes in which Jesus sends out his followers on missions. The first occasion is closely based on the limited commission mission in Mark chapter 6 verses 6 to 13, which however recounts the sending out of the twelve apostles, rather than 70, though with similar details. The parallels suggest a common origin in the hypothesized Q document. Luke also mentions the Great Commission to all nations, but in less detail than Matthew's account and Mark chapter 16 verses 19 to 20 mentions the dispersion of the apostles. 
What has been said to the seventy in Luke chapter 10 verse 4 is referred in passing to the twelve in Luke chapter 22 verse 35. He said to them, When I sent you forth without of money bag or a sack or sandals, were you in need of anything? No, nothing, they replied. Feast days. The feast day commemorating the seventy is known as the Synaxis of the Seventy Apostles in Eastern Orthodoxy and is celebrated on January 4. Each of the seventy apostles also has individual commemorations scattered throughout the liturgical year. The record by Pseudo Hippolytus. Hippolytus of Rome was a disciple of Ionius, a disciple of Polycarp, a disciple of Apostle John. Hippolytus's works were considered lost prior to their discovery at a monastery on Mount Athos in 1854, while his major work The Refutation of All Heresies was readily accepted, his two small works on the Twelve Apostles of Christ and on the Seventy Apostles of Christ are still regarded as dubious. Put in the appendix of his works in the voluminous collection of the writings of early church fathers. Here is the complete text of pseudo Hippolytus's on the seventy apostles of Christ. James the Lord's brother, Bishop of Jerusalem, Cleopas, Bishop of Jerusalem, Matthias, who supplied the vacant place in the number of the twelve apostles, Thaddeus, who conveyed the epistle to Augurus. Ananias, who baptized Paul, and was bishop of Damascus, Stephen, the first martyr, Philip, who baptized the eunuch, Prochorus, bishop of Nicomedia, who also was the first that departed, eleven believing together with his daughters, Nicanor died when Stephen was martyred, Timon, bishop of Bostra, Parmenas, bishop of Soli, Nicolaus, bishop of Samaria, Barnabas, bishop of Milan, Mark the Evangelist, Bishop of Alexandria, Luke the Evangelist. These two belong to the seventy disciples who were scattered by the offense of the word which Christ spoke, except a man eat my flesh, and drink my blood, he is not worthy of me, but the one being induced to return to the Lord by Peter's instrumentality, and the other by Paul's. They were honored to preach that gospel on account of which they also suffered martyrdom, the one being burned, and the other being crucified on an olive tree. Silas, Bishop of Corinth, Silvanus, Bishop of Thessalonica, Chryses, Bishop of Carchedon in Gaul, Eponetus, Bishop of Carthage, Andronicus, Bishop of Pannonia, Amplius, Bishop of Odysseus, Urban, Bishop of Macedonia, Stachys, Bishop of Byzantium, Barnabas, Bishop of Heracli, Phagellus, Bishop of Ephesus, he was of the party also of Simon, Hermogenes, he, too, was of the same mind with the former, Demas, who also became a priest of idols, Apelles, Bishop of Smyrna, Aristobulus, Bishop of Britain, Narcissus, Bishop of Athens, Herodion, Bishop of Tarsus, Agabus the prophet, Rufus, Bishop of Thebes, Asyncritus, Bishop of Hycania, Phlegon, Bishop of Marathon, Hermes, Bishop of Dalmatia, Petrobulus, Bishop of Putili, Hermas, Bishop of Philippi, Linus, Bishop of Rome, Keys, Bishop of Ephesus, Philologus, Bishop of Sinope, and 43. Olympus and Rhodian were martyred in Rome, Lucius, Bishop of Laodicea in Syria, Jason, Bishop of Tarsus, Sosipater, Bishop of Iconium, Tertius, Bishop of Iconium, Erastus, Bishop of Panelis, Cortus, Bishop of Beritus, Apollos, Bishop of Caesarea, Cephas, Sosthenes, Bishop of Colophonia, Tychicus, Bishop of Colophonia, Epaphroditus, Bishop of Andriarchi, Caesar, Bishop of Dyrrhachium, Mark, cousin to Barnabas, Bishop of Apollonia, Justice, Bishop of Eleutheropolis, Artmas, Bishop of Lystra, Clement, Bishop of Sardinia, Onesiphorus, Bishop of Corone, Tychicus, Bishop of Chalcedon, Carpus, Bishop of Beritus in Thrace, Evodus, Bishop of Antioch, Aristarchus, Bishop of Apamea, Mark, who is also John, Bishop of Bibliopolis, Zenas, Bishop of Diospolis, Philemon, Bishop of Gaza, and 69, Aristarchus and Putes.
Trophimus, who was martyred along with Paul.